Today, I will show you how to draw figures. Before you begin, make sure you selected the desired symbol type. Grid and Tool. The Line tool places new symbols along a line where it crosses the current grid. The steeper the angle, the more symbols you will get. Symbols never get shorter than the current grid, though. The anchor is put where you start the line. With duplicates disabled, a straight line gives you a single symbol. Enable duplicates if you want a line to be filled with repeated symbols. Accidentals add a chromatic component to symbols, which denotes pitches outside a symbol's scale. The freehand tool places symbols along a curve you draw with the mouse. The finer the current grid, the closer symbols are placed to the curve. Drawing chords is easy. Just drag vertical lines with the chord symbol. You can alter the specifics of each chord on the parameter inspector. Arpeggios are easy as well. Just draw diagonal lines with the chord symbol. I'll disable audio feedback now. Hold down the shift key to append a new segment to a segment nearby. Click on an existing selection again to toggle between segment and symbol. Select any number of symbols to edit them together. Hold down the Alt key to stretch the symbols of a segment. Use the arrow keys to transpose and move. Stretch segments along the grid. Hold down the command key to ignore the grid. Hold down the Alt key to stretch the symbols of a segment.
Move segments around. Hold down the Alt key to make a copy. Group and ungroup segments as needed. Make any symbol become the anchor. There are many creative commands on the transform menu. Reverse, upside down, stretching, legato, dynamics and many more. Express users can use the clickboard for convenience. Use the cutter to split segments and symbols. Delete symbols with the eraser. Mute individual symbols with the Mute tool. You can select all symbols of a type. For complex figures, it helps to focus on a single symbol type at a time. Hold down the command key and alter velocity by moving the mouse. Change the type of symbol from this menu, or simply double-click on the button. As a practical example, I am now drawing an entire phrase by hand. This is easier than you might think. I'm doing a build-up with short melodic runs, which are slowly increasing speed and pitch range. Now I'm repeating part of it in reverse direction, as a response to the first part. Oops!
Towards the end of the phrase, rhythm is getting more agile with triplets and quintuplets. Now for the bottom part. Let's keep it simple and slow, so we get a nice counterpoint movement. Finally, let's conclude the phrase with some pronounced bass. It's always good to have the lower parts of a phrase emphasize the heavy parts of a beat. This is what the left hand plays on a piano. Likewise, emphasizing the light parts of a beat is always a good choice for the upper parts, played by the right hand. Here we go. Isn't it beautiful? Thank you for watching.